Hey everybody, welcome back to Retro Tech. And man, today I just have an absolutely hilarious and unbelievable story to share with you. This does pertain to CRT, so it's definitely in my wheelhouse. And I'm just going to jump right into this article right here first to start things off. This does come from WTVR.com, which is a East Coast news channel. So it's happened again. Video shows figures leaving vintage TVs on Henrico front porches. And this is Henrico County, Virginia. So uh, pretty near to where I live in Tennessee. This is pretty funny. Now listen to this. Nearly a year after a Glen Allen neighborhood, which is another neighborhood in uh, Virginia, woke up to find dozens of vintage box TV sets sitting on their front porches. The strange circumstances has happened again. At uh, this time, the culprits, who apparently dropped off more than 50 this guy dropped off 50 TVs caught on several of the neighbor's doorbell cameras, you know, those little Nest cameras. Here's one. Uh, the bizarre discoveries were made by families in Hampshire neighborhood Sunday morning. So this is just yesterday, Sunday morning. And check this out. I mean, you can see, I'm not going to play these people's videos, but you can see the figure here. I mean, it's super crazy. This guy had on full, uh, full gear that was uh, basically a, a work jacket, and a, uh, he had a TV on his head. So he took a CRT, cut out the center and had it on his head and he still had the glass on the CRT. So that was really the crazy part. All right. Uh, let's see. Someone spotted a TV set at his doorstep when he let his dogs outside. He said he thought his son had brought it home. Uh, then he thought it was a prank. So a lot of these people are talking, this is just interviews from the people. But again, you can see him here. He's almost got this space helmet. Look, look at him over here the CRT hero of the day, spreading CRT awareness. I absolutely love this story. It's cracking me up to think that somebody's going around putting these TVs. And I want you to notice something. Look here. This is one of the TVs that was left on the porch. This is actually a different TV that was left on the porch. So this is not, these are not just like crappy, nasty, dirty looking CRTs. This person has actually taken the time, it looks like, to clean these CRTs. That's one thing I noticed when looking at this story, that uh, these CRTs, they all seem to be clean, and they all are pointing the screen in the center of the door, right towards the door on the last step, every single one of them, same way. And if you want to, I'll put a link to the story. You can go check it out and watch the videos. Uh, so again, many residents were alerted that there are security devices that were unwanted deliveries. Uh, the police and solid waste divisions worked together to remove more than 50 TVs. In just an hour, officers were able to speak with the residents and remove a lot of unwanted televisions. Uh, so nobody should have to go pay a $3 fee into someone else's garbage to, to dump it. So there's a number here. Police urge anyone with suspicious activity to call the Henrico County Police. It's summer and people are getting ready to go back to school. Maybe TV man was just ready to strike and put a little humor in our lives. So it just goes on and talks about it a little bit more. Um, they do talk about how what what is exactly the point that people don't understand. Uh, so <laughs> they don't get it. They think it's a prank, but there is uh, something is a crime has been committed. I've researched it some more, and actually uh, the. The, in another interview I found with some of the police officers, they said the only thing that they thought would be a possible charge for illegal dumping, but they weren't even sure that they could get press charges for that. So that's uh, so this is a great, I mean, just a great uh, prank here where you're, you're not really risking getting in trouble. See, there it is again. They all look the same. They're all pointed right. See how it's pointed right towards the house. So, I mean, this is just one of the funniest things. So as I said, it happened again is what it said in this story. If I click through another link, I found another story in Henrico County, Virginia. Again, this is the exact same place. This story is actually dated from August 23rd, 2018. So this is one year ago within a couple weeks. I mean, one year ago. And it says, again, a Glen Allen neighborhood woke up to see a bunch of box TVs. Here's a lady who woke up and found this. And just look at it. Look at how clean that box TV is. That's not just like some junk box TV. That's something somebody actually went and cleaned and is trying to get out. So maybe they just want people to get back into CRTs. You know, I love to hear that if that's the case. Any, any reason, any reason to go in and put in a nice CRT on someone's porch. Uh, I, I wish somebody would have come out and said, yeah, I was happy about it. I was looking for a CRT for years and somebody put this beautiful CRT on my porch.
Anyway, uh, took a picture of it. You know, it's just a lot of families. The funny thing I noticed here again, see, here's another TV and it's pointed towards the front door and it's, it's in pretty good shape. This one's a little bit banged up, but who, <laughs> whatever. So again, no, uh, they keep thinking it's a prank. This is two years in a row. This has happened. And uh, I mean, just kudos to whoever's got the bra brazen and the creative thought to do something like this, uh, because I love it. So this family actually got something cool, a, a black striped Toshiba from 1986. But the other funny thing I want to say is when I noticed, when I watched this uh, whole, uh, both, I actually watched both clips from the news channel, and they said that these uh, TVs, um, well, that the, they were dropped off at only really nice neighborhoods. So it was higher end homes, you know, well over 2,000 square foot, double two-story homes that were probably in the four or $500,000 or more value who were getting these TVs dropped off to them. So I thought that was pretty cool too. He's obviously, it wasn't like lower end people because lower end people would probably grab it and be like, yeah, I love these things. So uh, maybe not, but hey, that's just something I noticed that this guy's been sent it to the same type of people. He's doing it the same way for the same uh, couple years so i mean what do you guys think is this not like the funniest thing someone would try to be doing to either raise awareness for tvs or what uh again if this is you and you are this uh person who actually did this stuff then um if you watch this video reach out to me i'd love to talk to you about it and i promise i will not i'll use complete anonymity and i will not um you know sell you out to the police but uh so anyway that's just the whole story right there again i got it from facebook from bryce campbell so bryce if you watch this thanks for sharing it but yeah just a crazy story and if you could see it right there i don't want to press play because this thing will load up a commercial it's like three minutes long but just check him out he's wearing like a full uh some kind of you know money for nothing full construction worker garb or, you know, plant worker garb, and then he's got the CRT, lit each time, literally, a CRT on his head. He keeps the glass, so he hasn't even taken out the tube. I want to know how he made this helmet. You know, that's, that's pretty crazy and brazen if he's sticking his head inside the glass in there, or whatever he's done. I don't know, maybe he's cut out some plexiglass and put it in there. I'd love to see this helmet, because this is, this is awesome. So anyway, if you guys know this is, if this happens to be you, please contact me, email me, do anything. I'll let you come on here with your, you know, with your outfit, and we can do a live chat and talk about this, and uh, maybe we can see if, if we can keep this awesome fad going longer or not or whatever, but let me know what your actually goal is behind this because I'd love to just hear you out and see what's going on. But that's it for today's story. Uh, if you have any other crazy stories please, about CRTs, please share it with me, and I'll be glad to you know, research them as best I can. But if you live in Virginia, you might want to uh, you know, check your porch, especially if you're in Henrico County, because you might get a visit from the CRT Santa Claus, and you might get a new CRT for free. So anyway, thanks again for watching, everybody. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time with some more retro content.